So what happens when you take gyroscope technology found in your common smartphone and combine it with a regular screwdriver? Well, you get a motion controlled four volt electric screwdriver from Craftsman with a twist. I've got it right here, so let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on? My name is Chris and I review tools and gadgets so you can quickly determine whether it's a product that you need and ultimately should go out and buy and spend your money on. Now this video is sponsored, but this is my review and my opinions alone. So when I first got this cordless screwdriver, electric screwdriver from Craftsman, I was completely blown away. It was just like, that's cool. And the reason is because you just hold it in your hand, you press this trigger here on the back and then to tighten or loosen a screw, you just twist your wrist left and right, it's so intuitive and so very, very cool. So the way this tool works is you press this trigger on the back side of it, and as soon as you press that, you'll start to hear a noise, and it'll start to vibrate a little bit, but nothing will actually happen until you twist your hand to the left or to the right. Now, it's variable speed, so the more you turn, the faster it goes. It uses some sort of gyroscope to determine the motion of your wrist. So basically you're in control of the direction and the speed just by how you rotate it. This screwdriver is great for light work, especially in tight spaces or repetitive work, you know, where you're constantly going like this to save yourself from wrist and arm strain. But don't expect it to have as much power as one of their larger V20 cordless drill drivers. This really is for fastening things, putting things together, you know, small jobs. It even states in the manual, for best performance, screw into pre-drilled holes. You can also, as you would expect to be the case for any electric screwdriver, lock it in the place so that you can use it as a manual screwdriver. And this especially comes in handy when you accidentally forget to charge it, the battery's dead, well, it's still a fully functional screwdriver. There's a lock switch right here on the handle, so you could just toss it in your bag and not have to worry about it turning on. It's also not very easy to switch the lock. It actually takes quite a bit of effort to turn this on and off. So that is great because it helps prevent accidental unlocking and accidental use. Now this is very comfortable in my hand. It's not too big at all. It's got that Craftsman red and it's got that black over molding so it's nice and grippy so it won't slip out of your hand. And the trigger is really comfortable and easy to use. It's got a max speed of 180 RPM and Craftsman states that you can drive up to 325 screws on a single charge, but your mileage may vary depending on the type of wood and screws that you use and of course the length of those screws. It's got two very bright LED lights on the front that stays on for 20 seconds. So you have a nice bright little 20 second flashlight if you need it. Now here's a comparison between the four volt cordless screwdriver and two of Craftsman's regular Phillips screwdrivers. As you can see, it's quite a bit longer and it's a lot bigger and thicker, but it also does a lot more of the work for you. Now it comes with a 120 volt household wall adapter that uses a micro USB connector to charge the battery. Now this is great because if you accidentally lose this thing, well, you can always use another micro USB charging cable to charge it up. But Craftsman recommends that you use only their charger to avoid problems and probably voiding your warranty. Now while charging, it has a small blue LED light indicator right by that micro USB charging port. And when it's fully charged, the light will go out. So until then, it will stay a solid blue. It takes about four to five hours to charge it up when it's completely drained. Now they recommend that you never drain the battery and instead recharge it after each use for longer battery life. There are three LED light indicators for the fuel gauge right here on the handle. So just press the trigger on the bottom and it will light up and tell you how much juice you've got left. It comes with 10 bits and this bit holder. There's actually nine here in the holder. The 10th one is down there in the tool. And these are standard quarter inch hex bits. So that means you can pretty much use any other quarter inch hex bit or driver with this screwdriver. So I've got a couple of things here. The Craftsman doesn't recommend this, but it is very possible. And I'm just demonstrating that to you. Here's a, a bit holder, which would be an extension, right? It's a magnetic extension. So we'll put that back here. And then I've got some quarter inch hex drill bits. So technically it will hold those as well. That's pretty cool. But again, Craftsman doesn't recommend this. I don't know if it voids your warranty, but I'm just saying it is possible. 
Now, by the way, the end of the screwdriver, the spindle, it's not magnetic. It looks like there's some sort of spring mechanism inside it to hold them into place, but they do stay in there. They don't fall out at all, and you gotta tug on them pretty good to get them to come out. Now, this screwdriver retails at $49, but be sure to check current prices because I've seen it down to $39, even $29, and at that price, it makes it a very affordable gift item for anyone. And it comes with a Craftsman limited three-year warranty, which is pretty cool. Well, now that we know everything that there is to know about this tool, what it comes with, how it works, let's go test it out. Now I know this is gonna be our go-to screwdriver already just because it's so easy to use. You just press the trigger and go and it saves all that wrist action. But there are a couple of things that I think could be improved in this in a future version. So I did wanna mention that. First off, the battery is not removable, replaceable, or repairable by the owner. Now Craftsman states, service of the battery packs or pack in this case should only be performed by the manufacturer or authorized service providers. So basically that means is that at some point in the future, after this thing has been cycled so many times and no longer works, you basically have to take it to a service provider or safely dispose of it. So that's kind of a bummer. The other thing that I would love to have seen is to have a bit holder in the back. Now I understand that this is all battery, so you can't unscrew this and put the bits in there, but in other screwdrivers that uh, have replaceable bits like this, there's usually a storage compartment in the back where you unscrew this and then the bits come out, but uh, obviously that's not the case. So what would have been cool is if they added another little attachment that clips on, because there's already a groove right here. You can see that groove right there. So it'd be cool if there is a, a little compartment, a little holder that snapped on and then held all the bits on there. So you could choose whether or not you want it on there and uh, you know everything stays together. Now, if you'd like to find out more information about this newfangled, twisty, motion-controlled electric screwdriver from Craftsman, I've got a link down in the description. And if you have any questions about it, please ask down below too. I'd be happy to help you out. And as always, thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.